Hello, hello everyone, my name is Sifter and welcome back to Fall to Samurai. So, let's go into this battle, which I am almost completely certain that we, will, that we will lose, but hopefully we can do as much damage to the enemy as possible, so that our backup army can swoop in and easily take care of Kikawa Morinori. Yes, indeed. And poor Noda Morotoki. He's probably going to die. Oh well, he isn't the proper general. He's only a captain. But I guess he is uh, acting general. Anyway, excellent conditions. Actually, both <laughs> excellent conditions for me and for the enemy. Because they have quite a lot of missile units themselves, if I remember correctly. So we actually have, uh, well, we have quite an impressive uh, fort garrison. Wooden cannons. Yeah, quite. Anyway. So we have quite a few levy imagery, and they are very not good, to put it that way. And I think I will divide this force something like this. And like this. And just push up. So yeah, yeah we will do that, and we won't really bother too much with the deployment, seeing that, as I said, we do not expect to win this. To attack, sir. But yeah, we are the ones attacking because we tried to break out of the siege and we really have to do that because if we do not do that we will guaranteed uh, lose every single man here after I hit end turn and we don't want that to do we. So are you actually out of range? Yes you are. And these guys are, well they're actually moving forward into my range. Thank you. But is that enough into my range for these guys to actually react? That's another matter. Never mind then, if you want to do like that, you are definitely gonna be in range. So yeah, that was more for the movement than anything else. <clears throat> and at that exact second, we start to receive uh, the artillery fire of our enemy. And yeah, the, uh, the artillery capability of my enemy is really what makes me that certain that we are going to lose this battle. But yeah, if you're going to come towards me like that, I'm going to stop up and actually take some shots at you. It seems like a solid idea. What are you doing? Sharpshooters? Well, good luck with that. Oh, here we go. Some hidden units. Also, I completely forgot to put all of them on guard mode. But yeah, it has been done. Put everyone on Neil Fire. You as well, and I did put you on the fire. So yeah, we are we are good. When it comes to that, at least. When it comes to the rest of the battle, we are not that good. Sharpshooters, once again, take care of them. And I was gonna say even more sharpshooters, but that's actually a reserve force. Oh, well then. We have killed zero. I thought I told you... I thought I gave you a direct attack order. That probably got cancelled once we uh, didn't see those men anymore. But yeah, we have actually shattered a few men. That's very nice. And we have sent the sharp shooters running. And we are about to send the Pokey running, hopefully. And what do you know? If we are lucky, we might be able to send the Yari Kashi running. And apparently, according to the balance bar, I have a decent chance of winning this at this point. I don't really know about that, but... Uh, yeah, we'll see. And uh, I won't lose hope, but yeah. This spell levy... Hmm. It might make me lose hope. We'll see. So yeah, those Boki melted away. And here, my Yarikachi is doing work on their Yarikachi. Or spell levy, actually. Yep. 
Yarukachi is actually a bit better than what I have at the moment. So we rush their artillery, and if I uh, not, do not capture it, I probably won't, because I will probably lose this battle. Or maybe not. But yeah, uh, I will at least try to destroy them. That is definitely in my best interest. But yeah, these guys have been rather silly, haven't they? And ha they have actually given me a chance in this battle. If only this main line holds. Which is, it doesn't look like it uh, is going to. <clears throat> oh well. And the sharpshooter shattered. That's very nice. Yeah, so I guess our main concern is this large blob right here. And the firepower it can provide. And as I said, the sharpshooter shattered. Let's try to build, build up a more solid line right here. Something like that. A bit more tight and concise. Come on. You haven't taken this yet? Oh well. Hmm, so the Arikachi did actually, well, it hasn't been decided yet, but it seems actually like the Arikachi will be the ones who are victorious in that battle. I have quite a lot of shot units at this point, so yeah, it doesn't look that good. But, try to swoop in and kill off as much of the artillery as possible, as I said earlier. So if we manage to at least, well even with that one artillery gone, we have actually done uh, quite a lot of damage here. And if I am lucky and get another one, or even two, with these wooden cannons, then I definitely am satisfied this, with this battle. And satisfied with the fact that we did in fact do quite a lot of damage. And there they go. Oh well. We'll go for the wooden cannons and then see if we can pick these guys off at range. So yeah, what seemed to be impossible appeared to be impossible. At least too impossible for me to, to achieve. Let's see. Let's place the line there. And then give a direct attack order. And see how many we can pick off. Actually, let's do something like that. So, how many men do I have remaining? These guys actually came back from the battle. From routing, I mean. And... Hmm, in the end, the Arikachi actually did run away. That's pretty nice. But yeah, we, we fired an entire barrage and killed zero. Oh well, at least they are two men down. Whatever that is worth. The men tire, sir. They require rest. Probably these guys. And indeed. Where do you want to get this to? I think they found the, the correct spot here, apparently. But that accuracy. This 
more like a mortar shell, actually. Oh well. But yeah, we are losing that engagement. Not when it comes to number of men, but when it comes to morale. And we are... well, we, we might route here. We probably will do. These guys actually are quite decent. And <laughs> what did hap what happened there? Please tell me. It's like you hit a wall. An invisible wall. Hmm. But that did send you wavering, which was interesting. No damage done to these guys at all. None to these guys either. Yeah, I still don't get that uh, lobbing tactic. Not at that range, anyway. There goes the spay units. And these guys are the only surviving units, and they are about to shatter. And there they did. When they saw the rest of the army, completely... Completely disintegrates. Oh well. This was, as I said, pretty much inevitable. And uh, in the end, we did actually manage to take out two artillery batteries. Unfortunately, one of them were wooden cannons, but still, one of them were paraguns. So I actually think that is a, a victory. A spiritual victory, for sure. We actually have uh, some of the garrisons still intact. Interesting. But can we attack again with it? No, we can't. So yeah, these guys will be annihilated on the end of this turn. Oh well. Yes, my lord. Well, we're getting there with our reinforcements. So, what is happening elsewhere? Actually, not sure. What happened? In, uh, what happened before we end that? Okay, so another invasion, which we really don't have to worry too much about. We'll send out a few units to deal with them, and that should be enough. Yes, and yes, they uh, they only want to raid, don't they? Let's see if there are any enemy armies that uh, might be able to attack. These guys are coming in to reinforce with, um, well, sub-pi units. How's the garrison? Still being decent. Ah, this has proven a tough nut to crack. I might actually have to go around it and cut them off here. But I don't really like that. Oh well. So yeah, we, st we have those ships. There, they have chased away a lot of the enemy ships, but as you can see, there are quite a lot of them still active. So yeah, if we attack this ship, that will drag in these guys. And if we attack that ship, that will drag in both of these guys. If I attack that ship, that will drag in all of these three. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is tricky. Also, are these damaged? Is this the same navy I have been fighting, like... Three times at this point. I think it might be. But the only problem is... Have they... I don't know if they have been repaired since. And if they haven't... Well, then I'm, then I'm in luck. But if they have... Oh dear. So yeah, we will probably fight this battle here. Yeah? This one. That drags in the least amount of ships. At least with, uh, with this navy. Unless we want to go like... Here. That might actually be the preferred tactic. I don't know. Let's let's try to go for let's try to go all out here. And I guess if we fail that, so we have um lost our main guard, of course. So yeah, uh, they did have a few ships still left, and only one of them is actually damaged. Yeah, I think we um I think we'd rather build up our other navy a bit first, and then we try to take out a few of these ships, and then move out. So we are back to uh, to the dock, and recruit a bit more. We can uh, we 
can actually manage to... Yeah, we did come to the conclusion that this one is better, right? And we can actually afford two of them. Let's go for that. Fortunately, that means that we can't uh, afford to have anything else. Oh well, that's the way of things. We are recruiting that, we are researching that. And that will give us loyalty, and hopefully that will give us some more bonuses to repression. So we have one region that is taxless at the moment, and it will take a while before they can be, um, be made to pay their taxes. I guess we need complete Shogunate uh, influence. And also, resistance to invaders needs to go away, which it still hasn't. That has uh, taken a long time, actually. And devastation should also go away. Actually, do we have any bonuses for Honorable Daimyo? Not yet. That's unfortunate. Yeah, also, it's spring, so that happiness, one of those happiness points, will actually go away. But yeah, our Daimyo actually has a bit of honor now. I can actually select him. There we go. And he has leveled up as well. Hmm. So we can go down to this tier. Maybe this one? That's a nice one. I don't really care for the ambush one, but uh, the other, other things? Quite nice. Pretty solid. Naval fire support rate is minus 10 meters. That's also pretty solid, so I'm guessing that means that the circle, the aiming circle, is actually a lot tighter, meaning that you can really control where your shell sits from a naval barrage. Very nice. 5 plus charge bonus, also bombardment range. Hmm. I don't really use these guys as animals, so... I have no use for that, really, or for a lot of that. That's a nice one. One extra barrage per battle. And I think there's a retainer. You can get that does the exact same thing. That's very, very nice to have. But yeah, um, other than that... I don't know, it's very situational. Always good with a lot of morale. And... This also gives me honor. And yes, this gives me the minus 35% resistance to invaders that I have been talking about. And actually, that will come into effect once we recapture this, once we recapture Sapporo. So yeah, I will actually take that. And I were thinking about doing this anyway. Well, maybe not both of them. I don't think we have enough points for that. Oh well, we'll see. Actually, let's uh, let's count for a second. I think I have counted this before, but just to double check. So I think next turn, well, next time we level up, we will get two additional points, which means we will have five. So, one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, we can't do that. So, <laughs> really what we have to ask ourselves is, what final skills do we actually want? I really want this one. And this one, hmm, I guess it's good, pretty solid, but this one, this is a pretty nice one. But yeah, I can't have this and this at the same time. I shouldn't have gone for this man all the way back at the start of the campaign. Should have just skip this and then I could have this, 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 and this, and also grab that. I could have bypass it, which means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and now I can get all the final skills. So yeah, I think that is really what we have to do. It's a shame we have to give up on that, but we will get that, so we do get that bonus, but it would have been nice to have, have it doubled. Oh well, can't have it all. So there we go. And once we level up, unless we die, or we will lose this campaign, we will be able to gain every end skill. So that's pretty, pretty snazzy. Or I am completely forgetting about that I 
like get like one attribute point on the next turn. But that would suck. So yeah, I think I should get two points. But yeah, that shouldn't be an issue. Also, you guys, Oravara, you have actually managed to capture one of the territories. Oh, it was easy to capture, was it? Because it was unstable, because they just flipped over and didn't stabilize the regions before they uh, they went on and attacked me. Hmm, sounds weird, right? Oh well, might be a bit too salty about that. Hmm, yeah, I need. Uh, I also need a transport ship up here. I'll probably build that here and uh, have them shipped to like uh, I don't know here maybe because you chose to declare war on me again. And Fukushima is really a nice territory to have, at least have a vassal control over it, have control over it. How's your railway, by the way? I can't actually use that, can I? No. And it's not developed. Hmm. I guess you've had all the concerns. Anyway, I think that's it for this turn. Unless I'm forgetting something very important. Okay, so finally. If they choose to attack at the same time, I might be in trouble. But I'm not gonna needlessly throw away my own ships, or risk them needlessly, leaving my port wide open for uh, enemy attacks. I'm not gonna do that. So if I'll if I'll have a naval battle, oh that's my artillery I think. There we go. So if I'll have a naval battle, it will be a naval battle um, for the defense of the port. And not needless to try to scare away raiders. Speaking of raiders, this is a different kind of raiding, but uh, you could still consider it a kind of raiding. Also that one right there. You are dooming yourselves, my dear friend. And yeah, we lost Sapporo. That was a bit silly of you. We're actually losing money at this point. Because we lost Sapporo, I'm guessing. Well, one, we lost Sapporo, and secondly, we had two instances of raiding. So yeah, we might have to resort to doing this, which will anger only one region. So yeah, we'll have to exempt them from tax at some point. So yeah, that made it really clear that um, recapturing of Sapporo should be our highest priority. Okay, so we don't have any more money to build any more naval, naval units. So if you attack this, that will drag in every single other navy. That's not what I want to happen. Also, chase off all of these guys, because they are one ship navies, so they won't dare to do that. That chase them off. I could try to go for these guys, but that would once again leave my main port completely undefended. So, if we were to attack um, these guys, I can't actually. Yes, I can. That is impossible, sir. All hands on deck. Hmm. Does that mean that I'm in range of those guys? No, I still want reinforce at that range. That's annoying. Oh well. Oh so yeah, we have a, a decent fleet. And we might be able to do significant damage. And then we can have this force come in and uh, try to map everything up. And seeing that this battle should be pretty even, at least the second battle should be pretty even, those tiny ships, they won't run away. That's the theory, anyway. So yeah, we, we need to do this, because if they are gonna continue, continue raiding this, we are gonna br get brutally murdered when it comes to our economy, and that leads to a disunderable daimyo, and that leads to our downfall, which we were pretty close to seeing last time. Last time this happened. 
economy problems, that is. Anyway, we will fight... <coughs> I'm, I'm sorry. But anyway, we are going to fight this battle in the next part. So, join me then, when we will be seeing one, and uh, I think two, actually, naval battles. And uh, hopefully, yeah, you will join me then. If you like this part, consider a like, a comment, and a subscribe hit if you're not subscribed already. And, as always, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.